Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to deal with zeros in Power BI. There are certain situations are there when we try to transform the data or split the columns the zero numbers automatically converts into a single digit instead of three or four zeros and if we need the same thing like it was there in the text earlier then we may need to just avoid one step that we are going to demo in this video. Before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I am into Power Query now and let's say for an example, I have these numbers. So this basically represent each and every dot is a column. I mean these three zeros is one value and four zero is for another value and this for another value. So um, we are getting this data like in this format itself and from here we want to split it into multiple columns like these three zeros in one column, four zeros in another column like this same thing. So for this basically when you load the data into Power Query then it will change the column data type. So here it automatically changes this as a text now and after that what I did is I right click the column and then I go for this split by column and then by delimiter. So Power Query is smart enough that it will detect what is the data inside to this column and it will show us the value of this one. Like for an example, it detects this, it has a dot inside to that and we need to split this at each and every occurrence of this dot. So the same way I have done here and once I did that, then it is brought up this one and now I am able to split the data into this one. So let me just delete this st step and then redo again just for you to understand the process. So right clicking now and then split by column and then by delimiter and here I am not going to do anything here. Everything looks good and just click on OK. So now you see the two step is added here and the zeros is become three zeros become zero, four zero become one zero. So that is not actually the requirement here. So to avoid that, what we need to do is just go one step before to this one, the last step, the split column by delimiter. Here you can able to see the exact split of the column. So what actually happens is Power BI split those into different different columns and then it will try to detect the data type of the column and it says that this is a numeric value. So it converts these columns into a numeric field and some of the fields into text itself. So here in our case, everything is numeric itself looks like but actually we need to store this as a text itself but when it come to on this step which is automatic created by power query change type one and here it has detected this as one two three one two three means a whole number and all the columns is been reflected as whole number itself so if you are not satisfied with this output then you can just change this type i mean remove this step completely so that you can able to get this exact original output with the column splitting of the details and now if you want to change something else like this last two column you want it to be whole number then you can click on this icon and then click on whole number and click on this one and then click on whole number just for an example so you can do it yourself manually and everything will remain the same as it is so you don't need to worry about the data now So this is how you can able to deal with the zeros in Power BI if you want to transform the data from your any kind of data sources. If you found this video helpful, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.